Hey everybody, this is Robert Mack with Irvine Real Estate Link. Your link to the information that you need to make the right decisions. So today I was having a little discussion with one of my clients and my client came to me and says, you know Robert, uh, it was an investment property, they were buying a new property and they were considering, well, should I sell my property or should I lease it out? And I asked them what their, what their, what their goals were, short term, long term. And what he told me was, you know what, the market isn't doing that great right now for sellers. It's obviously a buyer's market. So why don't we just lease this property out for two or three years, let the market go back up, and then we'll sell it when the market's gone back up. And, you know, quite frankly, that's not going to happen. That's not the case, you know. And, and I want to talk to you a little bit about why you should sell your home now if you want to sell in the, now or in the next two or three years. And, 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 and why? And now... Obviously, we wouldn't be having this conversation if you're considering holding on to your property long term. When I say long term, I mean 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and plus. But if you're planning on selling a property within the next two to three years, or even in the next two to three months, the sooner you list the property, the better. Now, I made some notes because there's a couple statistics that I want to share with you guys on, on why I feel like uh, selling now Will, will obviously help you net more money than waiting six months, one year, or even two or three years. Now, it's speculated that in 2012, 11 million homes across the country are gonna foreclose. Why? Because the NODs in most cities, NOD is a notice of default, which means that m people haven't paid for 90 days or more. You get a notice of default. The notice of default in most cities has gone up. So based on the number of notice of defaults, they're speculating that 11 million homes next year across the United States are going to be foreclosed on. That's obviously going to bring property values down, depending on the area you live in. Also, I don't know if you uh, follow the Orange County Register, and this was a great article by Jonathan Lasner and Jeff Collins. I don't know if you can see it here. It says, OC home prices hit nine-year low. It's a great article. It's about a page and a half. Of great information. They have a lot of uh, statistical information backing up their opinions. And what they're saying is that Orange County as a whole, the average sales price is at a nine year low. And so what's happening is that uh, buyers have been losing a little bit of confidence in, in, in the real estate market. The number of NODs has gone up. The number of foreclosures is speculated to be very high. And so that may have a negative effect or negative impact on many neighborhoods in Orange County. And so if you're considering selling in six months or one year or two year, you may actually sell for less. Or if you're considering leasing out your home for two or three years and waiting for the market to come up, you're probably going to sell for less and it's going to be a rude awakening. So my message is if you are looking to sell in the short term, the sooner you list your home on the market to sell, the better. And I know what a lot of people are thinking, oh, he's a realtor, he just wants to sell our property, and that's not the case. You know, if, if I had a property that I wanted to sell, I would rather sell it sooner than later uh, unless I was going to keep it for 10, 15, or 20 years. Now, if you're going to keep a property for 10, 15, 20 years, you're going to be okay. The market will definitely turn by then. But I think, you know, anywhere between three and five years or less, you're better off selling now because there are chances that the market could continue to drop. We just never know. Interest rates are amazing and, and still home sales are down 2.5% this month versus last year the same time. So even with the great interest rates, the great inventory, the, the, the home prices being at a nine year low, home sales are down two and a half percent. So that tells me something, that tells me that, you know, buyer confidence is very low and you know, not, not, you know, we also want to take into account unemployment. Many people may not be in a position to buy. So all these factors could result in you selling your home for less than what you want to if you wait too long. And I also want to bring up, if you're selling your home to buy a bigger home or to buy a smaller home, it's obviously a great time to move up or move down. The reality is you're going to take a loss on your property regardless, unless you purchased it many years ago. You're going to take a little bit of a loss, but keep in mind you're going to, you're going to, uh, you're going to make that up by purchasing a new property, especially if you move up. If you buy a bigger home, you're going to make that up because the bigger home came down uh, you know, more than what yours has gone down. So that's my message. Uh, I also want to, you know, let you guys know if you're moving up or moving down, you know, 4% interest rates, 4.5% interest rates, you, you can't really beat that. So moving up, moving down buyer, 
great time to make a move. If you're looking to keep your property short term, you may want to uh, talk to a realtor. Talk to your realtor if you have one. If you don't, I'd be happy to take your call or, or email and, and talk to you about different plans, short term or long term. But that's really my message for today. You know, don't wait to sell your property if you're planning on selling in the short term. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video if you know anyone who may be considering selling in the near future. I'd love to be of assistance to them and I'd love to educate them with my videos. Go ahead and leave a comment and check out my website at irvinerealestatelink.com. There are so many great buyers and sellers resources. And while you're at it, like my Facebook page. It's facebook.com forward slash Irvine Real Estate Link. There you can keep up with all my great videos. And I look forward to talking to you real soon.